I think I have everything where I want it. Good morning everyone, I'm Grant and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm hoping to figure out how to fabricate motor mounts so I can mount my BEW TDI engine into my right hand drive TJ Wrangler. Here's my current thought process. I have two different motor mounting plates that were supplied to me. This was the first one I got from Northwest Fab. I don't have a good way of making it work. It's actually too short. I do have this piece of plate steel that I could just copy the holes on and make it because I'm using a hydraulic motor mount to dampen the vibrations. But the other problem I'm running into is the turbo drain is right there and the turbo support bracket mounts right there. So going to a new plate would be kind of nice because then I could just make that work and that wouldn't be too terrible. However, I realized I'd be getting really close to my starter because my starter mounts over here. And that's when I looked at the second plate I had and the more I'm looking at it, my current thought process, here's my factory motor mount perch. I'm thinking about cutting the top half off and welding this bottom plate kind of this far down and having the mount out like this and then using this plate I can use this which I have to drill out that hole because it's actually too small for that but that's easy to do basically having this out here dropping it down a few inches mounting this like that and having this side figure out because I know that will clear the turbo all my suspension and everything so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get to cutting this frame mount perch which I'm gonna try to do without removing the engine because getting this engine bolted in was a trick and see if I can't put a couple of tacks on this and make it work. So, back to the grind. I think I have everything where I want it. I'm gonna to have to modify this piece because right now it blocks the turbo oil return feed that goes into the block and the bracket that holds or supports the turbo to the block itself. But before I do any of that, I'm now gonna to move to the other side and see if I can figure out how to make motor mounts over there. I really kinda, of, I don't wanna do one side and then have to change something on the other side, which means I have to come back and cut this off. So I'm gonna take this out because it was just resting here. And now we're gonna to move to what would be normally the driver's side, but my passenger side to see if we can't figure out the motor mounts on the other side. I don't know how well you can see this. It's just really tight over here. So I think I know how I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna go ahead and tack. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and tack these base plates just to the two frame mount perches and just double check everything. I'm not gonna go ahead and do tacks everywhere I'm gonna do this very slow and methodically to make sure everything works because 
The other thing is this piece, I'm gonna have to trim a little bit to go around the dipstick. So I am gonna have to cut that corner off, but this is all gonna work, but I'm just gonna take my time doing it. So I did this real quick off camera. I decided to put the turbo back on to make sure everything clears. And while it technically does, the way I was gonna rotate the compressor housing is no longer gonna work. I was actually gonna rotate the compressor housing so it was straight down and it's gonna hit this motor mount plate. So what I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and taking the turbo off, rotating it, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have it come out right here and see how much room I have because, let me get my watered air intercooler. I'm thinking if I have it come out close there, I can have this like that or even like that. Actually, I'll probably just do it straight up and down. And that way I can still have really short boost hosing and tubing going straight to the intake. So I'm gonna actually mess with the turbo for a little bit, make sure I can clock it where I want it to be, make sure it clears everything, and then I'll get back to tack welding, which I haven't started yet, but yeah. Time to work on the turbo. All right, everyone, I'm gonna hand hold the camera so you can see closer what I've been doing. I've gotten all the tacks on to my motor mounts and I'm really happy with how they've turned out. So, so I have that one tacked in and I have two really good tacks. Let me see if I can get it in there on the back over there. So I'm gonna to have to brace it underneath and really weld all of it up as well as welding this plate into place. So we go over to my driver's side, which again is normally the passenger side. Here is how this one's looking on this side. I have three really good tacks. I think I have three really good tacks on that bottom mount as well. And what I need to do now is unbolt everything and take it out. I still have to take the motor out so I can weld the lower mounts that I've put onto the original frame mount perches. Having the motor out will actually let me step in there and get a really good weld on everything. So I've been at this for a couple hours, so I'm going to take a break and I will see y'all very soon. And I'm back. So. What I need to do before I can take these motor mounts off is put at least one of these support gussets on them so when I take them off the tack welds don't bend and I don't inadvertently change the angle that the motor mounts are at. However, and you're not going to be able to see this, right now there is a huge gap. So what I'm going to spend the next little bit of time doing is cutting note cards to the exact shape that I need it. That way I can trace the note card onto these gussets and cut off the metal at the correct angle. That way I can tack weld one on here and tack, one, tack weld one on the other side. Sorry, that was a little bit complicated to say. And once I have both sides tack welded, 
then I can remove the motor mounts and start really welding everything together. So I'm going to get back to it. Now that I have the motor mounts that bolt to the engine all welded and they're drawing because I also painted them, I'm now going to turn my attention to the frame mount perches. Now I've only tack welded those in, but to really weld those securely, I'm going to have to pull out the BEW TDI engine so I have enough room to weld those perches in securely. So I'm going to get to removing the engine. I think I am done for the day. I am exhausted. My shop is filled with smoke. I've had fans running constantly. And once I have this outro done, I'm going to open both shop doors and really just clear out the entire shop. However, I'm really happy with the progress, but I'm not going to go ahead and put the engine back in because I realized if I go ahead and do the torque converter and a couple other things, the next time I put in the engine, I don't have to pull it out again. So I think that's what I'm going to do next time. But the motor mounts have been fabricated. I've painted the frame mount perches. These are the motor mounts themselves. They're still drying. I'm not going to show up close pictures of them because I am a half decent welder. I am not a professional welder. I use flux core so it has a ton of splatter. I clean up as much of the splatter as I can, but at the end of the day, I just need the welds to hold. I don't need it to look like stacked dimes. I just don't have that skill set and quite frankly, this isn't a show Jeep. This is a Jeep that I plan on taking out on the trails and getting scratched up. So anyway, I'm going to let all this paint dry and I'm going to clean up my shop. So I will see y'all again very soon. Goodbye. <music>